اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمدللہ رب العالمین الرحمن الرحیم ملیک یوم دین یاکا نعبد و یاکا نستعین اتنا صدات المستقین صدات اللدین انا انت علیہم قائر المکتوب علیہم الدالین آمین Yeah, Heavenly Father, I thank you for all the wonderful blessings in which you bestowed upon us in this life and in the hereafter. I ask that you allow this whole sitting, this whole meeting to just be spiritually uplifting to everybody that's ever suffered internally. Yeah, Heavenly Father, just let it be beautiful. Let people be blessed when they watch it. And take control. I mean. I mean. Prince who? Prince Gates. Guys, good morning. Welcome back to Everyday Struggle. We got Kevin Gates with us. I should actually let you do the intro. You know, Wayno, you know academics. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. We got the infamous Kevin Gates here. Yeah, I really, I really just want to say off top, this is the first time uh, we've ever had a guest like him. Uh, the way he came on set, he summed up the energy. How do I get to a place of, I feel like you're at peace. How do I get to a place of peace like you, bro? Well, I believe that the key to happiness is self-accountability. Mm. See, I hear a lot of people say, um, I, was, I grew up in the poverty. It used to be my excuse, the immature me. I grew up in a poverty-stricken environment. I had to do what I had to do. No, I had a choice. Mm. I had a choice. And when you're a man and you make a choice, you know, you have to accept whatever ridicule or whatever consequences comes behind that action. We honor those who honor the truth, and we pity those who don't. That's just a code of conduct that I'm under. I'm a part of something that's very beautiful, but it's, you got to have discipline. You got to be a man. Mm, I went in to shake your hand, but you went in for the, the hug and said you said you wanted to feel the energy, so you're big on energy. And I want, excuse me, you had the floor. Go ahead. No, no, no. I'm just saying I, I wonder if you're generally just big on energy. You said you wanted to feel the energy in the room when you walked in. Well, it's not that. I wanted to feel your energy because your energy is going to allow me to know how open I can be with you. You know what I'm saying? And that's just when I met with it. Like when I met this brother here, we locked eyes. In the, in the, um, yesterday at the Atlantic office, he came in. My uncle had introduced me to him. Yeah, Puerto Rican Sam, he introduced <laughs> me to Wayne. <laughs> well, I hope you do feel like you could be open here. I do. Like, the energy is very peaceful. Ask me anything, like, because I have a daughter that's six years old, mm -hmm. and people may say that my way of rearing young people is unorthodox in nature, but I believe that you either learn fast or you die young. How would you ever know if I never told you? Mm -hmm. And then sometimes, like, my, my daughter will ask me things that are speculative in nature that she heard. Here, let me tell you, baby, this is how they really go. That's mm -hmm. not true. Do you feel like you can always, or you always have to be completely honest with her, or are some things a little bit too much for her at that age? I'm gonna tell her everything, cause she's she's maturing now. And one thing that I don't regret it, but it really saddens my heart, it troubles my heart, is that I really miss when she was an infant, when she used to lay in my chest. I, I sometimes I go and grab her and try to lay with her like that, but she really told me, she said, Daddy, I like to sleep in my house my own bed now and i was like wow like she grown even though she only six she grown and eventually she gonna have a husband and i'm gonna be like baby i miss you, Where you <laughs> and she's gonna be like i'm with my husband daddy and she, wayno's going through yeah. that his daughter's about to go to college yeah, right my now my oldest and then my youngest she's my youngest is seven so i go through that too like i can't like like they, you i miss it like you know what i mean when you can really have them up under you at all times and but, they just want to run off and do but, Somebody, I'm not gonna say any names, hint, hint. Somebody said that if I do good on this interview today, that I could have um, two more, um, some more babies. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> hint, 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 Well, Cass well, is doing good today then. Let's make sure we uh, hit that criteria. Yeah. Right? Is that word phenomenally? Well, you know, <laughs> hey, you know what I believe? We set the tone. Mm. Who said that those words were words? Like, I'm a recreative reader. I know the proper word that 
according to whoever would say, man, it's called, you're a recreational reader. I don't like the way it, it rolls off my tongue. <laughs> I'm a recreative reader. You that. I, yeah, you. I made that word up. Yeah, I was and telling, it's... speaking to me, is that you're so interesting. Like, and I'm glad I met you today because I've seen I've seen you online. Man, you be talking bad about me. You be doing nah, so be, dirty. Nah, because sometimes, <laughs> hold on, sometimes you be doing I see me dirty. Too, nah, huh? sometimes Cold. I see I see stuff online. I'm like, is Kevin just saying that to say, or does he kind of really believe Ooh, it? God. And seeing you today, it feels like a lot of things you say you embody all that. Like you're not just saying it to say it. Man, you be oh god. Hey, general public. <laughs> sometimes when big general speaks in general. It goes over the heads of the general public. Academics. You don't, you don't think you say some bullshit sometimes? He be dragging me on the internet, y'all. <laughs> he drags me. I don't know what I've ever. Hey, what, not all the time. Whatever. Not all the time. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. What, hey, you, hey, you still talk not, behind me that time. You was like, I think Kevin Gates is with the shit. But you built me up and you told me that right after. So I'm like, yeah, but I think he uses bleaching cream. <laughs> I say, you man, why this nigga be. Nah, nah, about? it looks like you make him over a little bit. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, it, it, it's. Nadeska. The reason my skin looks like it has makeup on, mm. and this brother can tell you also because on Mondays and Thursdays, we fast. Mm. We fast, and we fast for Ramadan, for the Holy Month. And what happens is, when your body is in starvation mode, it breaks down the old cells, because you're fasting, you're not putting anything in your body. So it breaks down your old cell particles, and it releases hydrogen. And when it releases hydrogen, what do we breathe in? Oxygen. oxygen. What does hydrogen to oxygen create? Water. Yeah. So, Akron, you, did you, did you come amazing. to this conclusion based on seeing him just one, one time? I glow. He's talking about the, well, the way that my skin glows. Mm. And what he's seeing is the anointing of God. That's what he's seeing. I we, do think that's one thing. But he's not, but it, it's like, he, he, I know what he meant. He probably meant it in a complimentative form. Like, he's so beautiful. <laughs> his skin glows. <laughs> but yeah. let me be negative it toward him. It was the radiance. Looks like he wears fucking naked skin. <laughs> Yo. Yo. What have I done to you? Also, like, two things. I do want to get into your faith in me because I felt like that has... That has changed you, but it, it's it's mm. a little it's a little bit at least at least us seen. No, it didn't. Again, again. I've been just Muslim. The, well, we, we didn't know after uh, until a certain point. You were, it felt like it changed. You were judging the book by the cover, you did. You were saying some crazy shit at first. Oh, you you said the stuff with the cousin, the dog. What did I Come say? on now. What did I say? You said like you were saying some like again. We don't know if these were actual truths or you were just saying it to say. But you were like, yo, I'm about to punish him. If if, <laughs> if I'm with my cousin this and third, and we like you we have, up north, we can't relate to that. You have the floor, okay? Um, what faith do most of your people subscribe to? Uh, Christianity. Christianity. Okay. And Christianity, um, Lot, he's one of the revered people in the Bible. I have a doctrine in theology because I'm a big skeptic. Like, I want to know for myself. And theology is the study of religion, where you study all the different religions. And by you saying you're a Christian, y'all yeah, subscribe to everything in the book. There was a man in the book by the name of Lot in the Bible, in the Old Testament, in the Torah and in the Bible. And he had impregnated both of his daughters, had sex with both of his daughters. He was never frowned upon for that. I feel like it is grotesque in nature, me. I would never even think like that about my child. This is what he did. But allegedly the story, I don't want to say anything negative, but allegedly how the story went, they got their daddy drunk. I don't think I could, excuse me, ever be that drunk to do anything like that. If I meet Nadeska, a beautiful woman. Hey, how you doing? I'm Kevin. You know, in the slum, they call me killer. We develop a rapport. You end up allowing me to apply pressure to you. You know what I'm saying? We, we have a relationship. I take you to meet me, Abuelita, my grandmother. And then she asks you, baby, who your people is? And then once y'all start doing the math, she pulled me to the side and said, that's your cousin. Was I wrong if I unknowingly knew that you were my cousin? Mm. We've all, the damage has already been done. And you got that gun smoke, so I'm not about to stop. It has already been done. I guess you were never. Was that a real story, or like you were just giving that's an the example? Truth. I, I'm an avid truth teller. Familiarity breeds contempt. You ever notice how you could be around somebody so long? To the familiar, the familiarity makes it gross. I never knew you. Yeah, I'm applying that pressure to you. You're a beautiful woman. 
Hey, and I mean this with all due, with all due disrespect. I mean, with all due respect, no disrespect. But I'm disrespectful in the bedroom. I ain't gonna lie. I talk nothing but trash. I own a waste management station. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so it's it's kind of things like that. When you say I'm dragging, I'm not really you be dragging. dragging me. Well, nah, it's she not. She be some picking of this... on me, Wayno. Stop. She be picking on by me. By the way, bro. by the way, before well. my last, like, uh, either Twitter, Instagram, got the, he had me blocked. He had me blocked. But, I did. But, yeah, you had me blocked. I don't you know, know what why? I did. I was like, you know why? I was like, Kevin, you'll rock with the blogger. A lot I, of people I, had you blocked. I probably. Me, so. I Happens. probably I can't speak for what other people why other people blocked you, mm -hmm. but I probably blocked you because I believe that negativity is a thief that steals happiness. You mm. think I was being negative with you? I just thought that you may have had some issues and some some traumatization go on in your life to where instead of looking inwardly, you always point the finger and look at everyone else. I mean, because I'm guilty of that. Well, that's why we're here today. I'm, I'm over you. I want to get to your place of peace, and well, there's so many issues well, on the table. Now that we got all of that done, mm -hmm. I want to talk. To, he do. <laughs> well, I want to. I want to get to a, a, a few things because hey, everything that you said. Whatever. All right. So everything you said, it go, and going back to the uh, the time we had together I like yesterday. You that flash. <laughs> Ooh, God. The, the way we had stuff yesterday. You ready? That's why. Yeah. yeah, yeah ready, that's why. No, I didn't. No, right. I didn't. I'm an average truth teller. Well, look, I ain't gotta Kev, be ready. I stay ready. Real quick, so yeah, um, go ahead. Excuse me, you had the floor. It's all good, brother. Um, the music that you was playing yesterday, like from what I heard, it's a, well, I'm not gonna speak on nothing specific, but what I say is, it's a lot of accountability in your music. It's a lot of honesty in your music, and it's a lot of like you being very confessional and telling people how you really felt. And I was watching you on on um on Instagram live yesterday, and you and Booby was talking. I mean, Booby, yeah. like y'all was talking, and he was just telling about how like when you got out of jail, how you was depressed, you know what I mean? And you were sitting down on the couch, you know what I mean? And, and and somebody had to tell you, like, get get yourself together and get back up, you know? You feel it? Yeah, okay. I do. It's a, it's That's a, a bullet. That's a third day snub. Mm, okay. You know who did that? This is my first time ever admitting this. Okay. I'm going to do this on y'all show. You know who did that? Oh. Huh? No, I don't. I'm guilty. OK. Yeah. All right. I'm guilty. I did that. Really? I did that to myself. Mm. Wow. You know what my mission statement is? What? My mission statement is to help those that suffer internally. I still deal. I, I found a better way to deal with it. But when I'm around people that are more complete than I am, it makes me feel inadequate. More because complete I feel, in what way? When I meet people that seems like they're at peace with themselves and they're complete and they're happy, mm. I used to feel inadequate. Like, I, I would feel like I don't want to be around them. I'm going to try to find flaw in that person because I'm hurting on the inside. Yeah, I'm guilty of being that way. I think a lot of us can be like that, but what were the things that were making you unhappy? Is it like traumas that you went through in the past, stuff uh, that you felt like you were missing currently? I had a very, a very trying childhood, I'll say, very trying. And I won't go into detail, I won't be descriptive in nature because, you know, me and my family, we work in past it. Like, for the longest time, me and my biological mother had a very strange relationship. And when I came home from prison, was that, I, I forgot what, you know, when did I come home from prison in Chicago, 2018? Uh, yeah, yeah, I forgot the month. But yeah, yeah well, January, I, I bought my mother a house. And after buying my mother a house, um, I still stayed away because I still had some kind of resentment. Mm -hmm. But I went and saw her, I believe that was Friday or Saturday, I went and saw my biological mother and I just hugged her. And I didn't have to say, I forgive you. Like she knew, like we at peace. Mm -hmm. I went back through my old neighborhood and you know, I went back to the visit the different blocks that I've experienced certain trauma, like, you know, mm -hmm. give me your hand. Oh. <laughs> give me your hand. I, I want you to feel it. All right. Yeah, I'm like Jesus. I want you to feel these scars. <laughs> you feel that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's a bullet also, sir. Mm. Okay. It feels like you, you take a lot of accountability. Even though your latest song, like... You, you, I didn't do this one. <laughs> oh, all right. Good. Yeah. Um, on your latest one, you were talking about like just bouncing back from losses. Like, I'm wondering, like, what you, I feel like you take so much accountability to yourself on everything that happened to you in life, I wonder what do you feel is the losses like you've kind of experienced, even recently or just throughout your life? To be honest with you, I've been my biggest obstacle. Mm. 
I've been the obstacle. Like when I used to hear Kendrick Lamar say, "Good city, bad kid," he was a he seemed like he was a decent guy, but you know he may have been influenced and to do some things that may not have been okay. I would have been the influencer. Mm. Yeah. But I do think, that, like, for example, right? Like, I would have been the one with, with, like, with Kendrick, like, this is my little homie. Mm. You're not going to touch him. You're not. Was there a realization point for you that made you feel like, you know what, yo, it's me? Because, like, I... Yes, I, sir. I... Did you share? Um, yes, sir. I have an amazing person that sits on the board. Um, we act as co-chairman on the board. The bread won a world court, and we have an executive staff, and I'm... I'm not going to say I'm the chairman of the board, but I have a co-chairman, and we have an executive staff. That's our organizational structure, and most people don't know this, and I'm going to share which I really hate to say this because I feel like I'm disclosing, but I'm not. I set up, excuse me, me and my partner, my partner and I set up, we modeled our organizational structure after McDonald's. Why? Yeah, I'll we'll get that part. Hold on. They're very successful at McDonald's. So there must because, be something there. Because when you, when you go to McDonald's, you know what you're getting already. And if we do integrate any changes, it'll be very subtle. Mm. Mm. But you almost can go in there and know what you're about to get. You almost know what to expect. And then when you see the subtle change, you appreciate it. Like, hey, that's I might try that. That's fly. Did you, did you read the book? The 22 Immutable Laws of Brandon? No, sir. All right, no, because it says, like, some of the, the stuff that you said about McDonald's, it says, like, some of that stuff when it comes to Brandon in there. No, sir. Um, I used to sell cocaine. And sometimes they got different types of cocaine. Most people think it's just white. It's not. They have different types of cocaine, like, so many different types. They have different strands of weed. They have different strands of cocaine. It depends, it depends really on the climate and things of that nature. Well... One day we had some dope that came through and it was pink. Nobody would touch it. It was white, but when you cook it, 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 it when it come back hard, when you rock it up, it was pink. Yeah. It was the best shit I had ever, like, ever had in my life. Like, the best. Like, I'm talking about we did numbers. But when, when the smokers would see it, they wouldn't fuck with it in the beginning, initially. So what we had to do is give them something and just give them a small piece of it. Sample, just give it away for free. My God. And that's how I learned about familiarity. People gonna always do what they used to. Mm -hmm. See, I learned my hustle from out the streets. See, and it's a beautiful thing because I was hands on with it. I earned it. I earned my position. Yeah, I wanna by talk the, about by, your music. By, by, you the got... grace, by the grace of Almighty God, Viewers, if you're watching it, I earned this position. I'm in the industry right now with no cosign. Shout out to Wayne. Shout out to Young Money because they did allow me to come and to view their infrastructure. But it wasn't that I harbor resentment that that situation didn't work out. It wasn't meant to work out. Some situations in life are just for you to learn and have appreciation in learning. Mm -hmm. and learning. And like I say, I left that situation, and I knew what I wanted. When I saw Birdman buy all them cars and give all them dudes money, I watched him do this. I watched him, 20 million, 10 million. I, I say, man, I want to do this for my team. He say, man, let me tell you something, nephew. You gonna do it for your team. You Aquarius, you know how we living. We living like that. I say, oh God. He say, man, the white folks say don't give him all that. But that's my little nigga. He come from nothing. I want to see him shine. I say, ooh, I want to do that for my team. He say, you going to do it. And that's when I knew BWA is no. Breadwinner's Association. Breadwinner World Court. Breadwinner Alumni. Breadwinner Fitness. I'm bread fit. I, I just, it's, it, it, it triggers something psychologically for me. But you had, you had the flow. What were you saying? Kev, I, I really want to know if, if like, that your thoughts, <laughs> your thoughts over the years, that uptown shit, you your, your thoughts over the years <laughs> has changed a bit, right? Because no, they didn't. But it, I don't feel like it has. But I want to like how you think now, though, right? You know, prior to you going to jail and yeah. getting incarcerated, like you had said, and you know, a lot of people, you got a lot of backlash for Say it. Say again. You said, hey, listen, anytime you came in contact with law enforcement, you felt the way you got treated was the way how you came off. 
And, you know, like, I mean, there's a lot of things going on now, even like the ASAP Rocky thing, where people, they're judging him on his past comments. And when you were locked locked up and, you know, I don't, I don't know how you felt about that whole process because you got released out of one place, they shipped you to another. Yeah. Did you feel like, yo, I hope people are, like, riding for me? Or did you feel, nah, I'm being accountable for what? No, I, I felt like, well, when I, it was, it was, it was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. Like, I was supposed to get out at 12 a.m. Me and my wife, we was talking about, hey, yeah, we're going to get on the private jet. Um, yeah, but I can't wait. I'm going to kill that pussy in the air. We're going to be close to God while I'm putting that dick in your back. But you don't talk like that. You know, she real. You know, she real. She, you know what I'm saying? She be shy. She be on that cute shit. I like that shit. Sure, I'm going to be, going to put the dick on you all in the air. The angels going to know what's happening with B. Yeah, the angels going to know before God get the news. We're going to be so high in the air, babe. I swear to God. You know, and I'm turned up. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I gave all my shit away. You know how I rock. You know how I rock. I gave all my shit away. Man, y'all hold it down. I love y'all. Um, I got a little Mexican partner. Um, one of my little partners was in the cartel. He controlled the till when I got there, and he knew who I was. And um, I ain't going to speak on everything in its entirety, but I'm pressure. Like I said, I earned it. And when I seen him, I'm was in love. We chop it up, chop it up, chop it up. I gave him all my shit. Jose Ivan Guapo. I love you, baby. But anyway, long story short, I gave all my shit away. Everything. 1201, I'm supposed to get immediate release, you know? Hey, uh, Illinois? I say, no, I don't know anything about Illinois. I'm not about to give you an admittance of guilt. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, you've been served. And dropped that on the floor in front of my cell. Really? Damn. Hey, the tear went in an uproar. Ah! No, they, they about to shit the guards down. And most people don't know, but I'll give you an illustration of what that is. That's like when you get your cups, and what the inmates do is, they save their feces in the cups, and sometimes they'll break open batteries. Or you can make your own concoction, shampoo, magic shave, whatever. And what happens is if feces gets in your face, it'll rip the skin off your face. You have to immediately be sent to the hospital, immediately. It is automatic infection. It's the most dangerous, toxic thing. They gonna have to, when the, when, whenever you make a, Whenever they had a shampoo bottle and make a shit gun with it, and I hate to say this, but I'm going to give you the game. It's very savage in nature, you know, when you're living like that. You know how they get the shit in the uh, toothpaste, in the toothpaste tubes? Huh? No clue. They put it in their mouth and spit it into the toothpaste tube with their mouth. Yeah, when you're in those type of environments, you become animalistic. Yo, Kevin, you've been through so much stuff. Have you ever spoken to someone, especially now that you're at this place where you're more at peace? I'm just telling you how they do it. So anyway, the whole tier was about to go in an uproar. You know what I did? Mm -hmm. I said, y'all calm down. I said it was meant for me to stay here. I'm not about to question God. I was heartbroken. I laid on the floor and just, I didn't even eat after that. I just laid on the floor and just rolled like this in my blanket. I lied to my daughter. I missed her birthday. Mm. Damn. Yeah. Have you ever spoken to anyone about all of this, Kevin? Like not a friend, not a, like a family member, like a, just like a, you know, a neutral third party, just about everything you've been through. I'm gonna be honest with you, beloved. Self-accountability is what leads to happiness. But you think you can, it's fair for you to have to sort of deal with all of that on your own? Yeah, I'm, I, I'm built for this part. Mm. Well, um, like yesterday, you were saying like I like this. This that flash you, shit. Let, I ain't mean to go into graphic detail. No, no, but no. I'm so glad. I mean, it's a lot of things that you're giving. A, you're giving a reality. It's, it's to like who it's like the viewers like watch forty eight days and sixty days. That's not prison. That's that's count. That's kitty right. count. Well, I, I was saying like yesterday, you um, like you talked about like you giving it to the beat, like whatever you feeling. Well, that's uh, um, that's crazy. You saved me. You threw me a life jacket. Um. My music is therapeutic in nature for me. Yeah. So getting it all out in the music and everything. If I just get it, I'm going in the booth and ah. You also said, I think I was watching uh, maybe your interview with Sway last year, that every time you're getting ready to work on, on an album, it can be one of the scariest moments of your life. 
But considering all that you've I'm been scared through, to death. Why? Like, why? I'm scared right now because I'm in album mode. Like, I'm scared. I've set the bar so high with Isla. That's a classic album. Like, how do you top Isla? And I gotta do it again. I'm scared. To, I'm honest. I'm scared to death. And it's just, it's like that fight. Like, I can only imagine how Muhammad Ali felt going in the ring with um, George Foreman. Mm. He used to break men's ribs. Oh, God. <laughs> but you've released other projects in between, and you said, even if, you know, people consider it officially a mixtape, you always approach it like it's an album, right? Oh, I so didn't. shouldn't that take some of the pressure off of you? No, ma'am. No, it didn't. I, I didn't approach it like that. I approached it like that was me cleansing my heart. Hmm. This album, it's just the word album. It's just, oh. <laughs> <laughs> why did you even have to, hey, you double. Why did you have to bring this up? But you played it yesterday, right? Wayno liked what he heard, I, so you must. I liked a lot. Well, Wayno might not be going to hurt my feelings. I feel like. <laughs> nah, man. Listen, listen. Oh, why did you have to do this to me? Because look, cause look, I don't want to bring up, like, it's, it's certain songs like that I feel like it's personal. You like, can, I, can we talk about certain songs? Oh, God. Can I, say, can I talk about one in particular? Just one. Which one? The one about your daughter. Um. When she asked, when you explained yesterday how she asked you a certain question. Um. One day. That's crazy. I ain't gonna say everything. Yeah, yeah. I don't want you to say everything, nah, but I'm that not, shit it touched I'm me because I'm a father. Like, but uh, I, I always my daughter be with me, and I talk to her like she one of my little partners. So I'm on the phone and she hit me. I say, Mom, I don't know why dude got his hands sagging. Ain't nothing holding you down. If you ain't got at least two up under your belt, put your pants up. And she hearing me talk like this. Like, Daddy, what you talking about if he ain't got two under his belt? Man, that boy ain't got no baddies. Why he sagging his pants? Ain't nothing weighing him down. And we just, I'm just, you know, I tell my daughter the truth. That's what that mean. Mm -hmm. like, PB, that mean you gay when it. Nah, that don't mean that. Your pants sag, you got a graveyard under your belt weighing you down. Is your wife okay yeah. with you being that honest with her? I'm going to always be honest with my daughter because I never want you to go in the streets and Look at anything and be impressed by anything. Make your own choices, your own decisions. Think your own thoughts and feel your own feelings. I'm Muslim. You don't ever have to be. I love you. I'm your father, but I want you to go farther. Mm. Where did that conversation go after that? So, so I, um, she told me, Daddy, pull your pants up. I say, baby, one day I'm going to do it. I swear, I went in the studio and cried. When I put the mic on, the beat came on. It seems like every day you're growing. I'm like, wow. I love to see you smile, but it killed me when you cry. I wish I could hide you from the world, but I know why. Can't stop none of this pain you about to feel, because I'm not God. But babe, I wish I could be better for you. Better for you, baby, one day I'll be better for you. Better for you, baby, and that just, why that's did you have, talking. why did you do that's this? A, <laughs> I, I hate you. So, but am I, am I, that's what I'm saying, I'm not sparing you feel like that was honesty. That's why I love in music, you know what I mean? That, that's yeah, that's I one mean, of the drinks like, that stood out to me the I'm most. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Like I say, life is about accountability. Mm -hmm. And you have to hold yourself accountable, and that's the key to happiness. Like, I, like, I feel so guilty every time I go around Drico. Like, she's an amazing woman. Like, she's an amazing woman, but I feel guilty because she was so happy when I first met her. She didn't live this kind of lifestyle. Mm. She was in school to be a doctor, but she sacrificed everything just to see me be better. Mm. She's lost two children because of me. Sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It had to happen. It had to happen. Has there been anything that you didn't hold yourself accountable that outside forces did, and even after they did, well, you still didn't understand? Well, it? the things that outside forces, outside forces always blow things out of proportion. Things may be minor in nature, but outside entities blow it out of proportion. Like, um. I don't know if I can say this right now, but I know one of the questions you were supposed to ask me about the what happened with the Florida incident. Uh, it was minor in nature because I, I never made contact with that person. Never. But it was minor in nature. But I believe outside forces blew it out of proportion because I know it was no ill will intended by either party. And I love those people, and those people love me, and that's that mm. on that. It's funny because, you know, watching your social media and watching just how you move, I learn a lot of things that, to be honest, I might be naive. Well, you don't fucking act like it, fucking academic. No. I mean, yesterday, <laughs> yeah, yesterday, you don't fucking though, act like yesterday it. you had me Googling to the most and the utmost, like, I'm like, because you were, you, you, you were saying, like, what, 
with the original intended meaning behind like the, the phrase no cap and I was like yeah no w- no cap means some other stuff other than that's what yo, you're lying kind of type of shit well you know like I say everything's metaphoric in nature and that wasn't to take a shot at anybody you know what I'm saying but the original origin of that that's what it meant like if I say I'm gonna go catch me a head catch me a body a, a M a murder a head I'm in jail. I'm fighting two hats right now. You fighting a double homicide. How about where you at? Put a curve in your cap. I mean, but I mean, like I say, other people take things and and make it what they want to make it. Like in one of my songs, I say, yellow bitch ass fat, black bitch ass batter. Both them bitches bad, but the white bitch batter. People may have thought I was talking about a woman. I was talking about a brick of dope or brick of coke. You said you said that like you might say certain. I'm shit metaphoric. To really and, I'm metaphoric shit. in nature, so hey, guess what? If you and your people know what you mean by what you're saying, hey, by all means, live in your truth. Yeah. Live in your truth. Yo, where did you find time to study theology during all of this? Uh, I haven't. <laughs> a lot. I haven't been on the streets in like. Uh, <laughs> 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 I've been doing this a long time. The desk. I don't want to get into it now. I'm a professional. Well, me and the desk want to know about you moving to New York because I seen you talking about that. Don't do it. Said Why that you would you? Yeah, you don't, don't seem do like New York would make sense for you. It would. Well, you're judging the book by the cover. If you don't feel like it. No, no. I feel like the book like is open city, now. Boy, like, the book is open now. Yeah. It's over here, it's dirty, too crowded. Rats. There's not space. Like, what is this? I'm from New York. I relax love, a bit. You're from New Jersey now. Yeah, I love it. Relax a bit. I love. I love the energy. Mm. Here in New York, how do you sum up energy? Cause that's what that's what I, I wanted to get from when you just came in here. Cause you came in, you came in this room, and it felt like whatever means you were doing, you were kind of feeling out everybody Acad- and the hey, energy of the room. Academics be picking on me, y'all. I no, I gotta I know. To do, bro. Yo, yo, listen, sir. Go Half on. of the comments I get about Gates is this, right? Man, listen, no, but he's, he's a picking smart, on me. he's a dumb nigga, sounding smart, or to be honest. He thinks deeper than everybody else. No, I. Just... And, and sometimes it, it, trying to figure out what each each thing he says is is like almost in the he middle. Be, he be Some things sound like yo, damn, I should really go look up that shit in terms of what he said about his skin. I this nigga talking chemistry. Then other things you're like, yo, what the fuck is he talking about? Is he on some bullshit? Dumb people can't be smart, but smart people can be dumb. Again, I'll say it reversed. Smart people can be dumb, but dumb people can't be smart. So in the eyes of a dummy, I mean somebody with, that doesn't have a, a understanding <laughs> nature. I can't wish you. I you mean, I'm, he, 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 dumb. He just sounds smart using all them big words. He just, <laughs> but you, I have eloquent speech. Mm. I have articulation beyond measure. I mm. mean, you know, I may not be with Ti with it, you know, <laughs> indubitably. <laughs> but. No, you know, I'm, you know I'm, I'm fly. You know what I'm saying? I, I was sauced up on the walk up. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be fly. It ain't supposed to be sitting there and, you know, and my masters, masters, like Kanye West talked about. It's supposed to be fly. It just come out. Like, is that is that something that does come from? Because the slickest people, the slickest talking people I've ever met come from like Philly. I say Philly, they talk slick crazy. But yesterday you was talking like you had so much lingo. Is Louisiana that something that's, that's yeah, true? No, Louisiana no, lingo. I'm gonna be honest with you, mm-hmm. Louisiana don't be having no lingo. Mm. We fly. We you know we fly, but everything we say it is what it is. See what people don't understand is it's a slavery state. It's it's slavery. So a lot of the words that we use was always slang terminology because we always had to move around the master, and. It went from us being in the plantations to us being in prison. There's so many innocent people in Louisiana just being housed in prison. There's more people in prison in Louisiana than it is anywhere else in the country. Wow. And it's not that you wake up knowing that I'm going to go to jail or I'm going to die. This is what you wake up knowing. I'm going to go to jail. I'm going to die. That's why if you listen to people from Louisiana talk, I got a partner that's that he gonna tell you, man, I'm living like that. I done did me. Blow my brains out, get me over with quick, I'm gonna respect it. Cause it's an acceptance. It's a gladiator camp. Mm. Even the pussy niggas from Louisiana gonna go somewhere else and stand because it's too small for you to run from your opposition. It, it, it's, so, it's so interesting to see how you've just dealt with everything. And, and I wonder like, 
you know, people who look up to you. I see, I see young boy, uh, NBA young boy, of course, yeah, that's who's my, also from I'm my little baby. Yeah, that's my little son. Exactly, and he, it looks like he has a great admiration of you. You know, he's going through yeah. some trying times. I'm wondering, like, when you talk to him or, like, what words you have for him going through, through like, what he's going through now? Well, I, I give him as much positive advice as I can, but it's also about sometimes you just have to grow through it. You know, sometimes I might say something right now, and it may not register until six months later. And the same thing that happened with my grandfather. He used to tell me the truth and tell me the right way to be. But then he always say, hey, say, Dick, listen to me, Dick. Some shit you just going to have to find out on your own. Hey, I've been your age before, but you just live to get mine. And I never, what the fuck he talking about? <laughs> I understand now. Right. I didn't give a damn what he was talking about then. It sounded like, hey, now, now I appreciate those lessons, that, that knowledge and wisdom that was imputed by my grandfather. I miss him. I hope he's proud of me. I always, I always say that I feel like Louisiana artist is like the most misunderstood artist there is because a lot of people don't know about like, Louisiana culture. We one of a kind. Yeah, like when you go down there, it's like, you know what I love about Louisiana? Everybody calls you baby. Yeah, what's up, baby? <laughs> yeah, it's baby. love. Right. We, we love. Yeah. We love real, real hard. And we love so hard and passionate and intensely, some people may look at it as psychotic. Another thing. No, like, no, that, like, no absolutely. We, I, when, when a woman meet a man from Louisiana, and I'm not bragging on Louisiana because I'm from there, I'm not. But when you meet a man from Louisiana, nine times out of ten, he had to do a lot with a little. Baby, I'm hungry. I'm going to cook for you. I got you, baby. I've been living. I'm living like that. I'm going to cook. I'm going to clean. Yeah. I aim to please my partner, you know. We real family oriented, you know. Yeah. Do you look at it as weird when, when um, shit, and you, you know me. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. If you was to meet a beautiful woman and she had 10 kids, would she still be as attractive to you because of the baggage that, that she honestly, acquired? Honestly, no. You know, and, and, a man from Louisiana don't look at that like that. We look at that like, you know, not all men, but most of them. We look at it like if she got a few children, you know, those children become our responsibility because we are survivors. Mm. That's what I am. I'm a survivor. No matter what I go through, I'm going to survive. Do you feel any type of way about, like, because I've seen this online, and by the way, I've kind of echoed this too, right? Like, when people see, like, how close you and young boy are and they saw, like, like tattoos and they see you also. Hey, can I ask you a question? Faith. Say what you want to say. Yeah, when people see y'all, like, do stuff, they might look at y'all like, this weird. It's a little weird. Say what you want to say. I'm, I promise I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> my, my, listen, my feelings aren't made out of grapes. You know what grapes do when you step on them? They crush. What do they do? Mr. <laughs> <laughs> they must. <laughs> they I don't have wine. great feelings. <laughs> I See, I'm going to listen at you because you may say something that's going to be beneficial. And you may say something that makes me, you know, analyze myself. Because you're letting me know how I come off to you. And, and other people, you know, I do think I represent the masses a little bit, but a lot of times you sure do. All the all the haters, <laughs> I swear to God, I don't know no. what I did. Critics, man, he critics. been saying all kind of shit about me. Nah, no, but y'all, no. this wait, wait, man picks hold on, hold on, on, on me. Yeah. By the way, we've talked about this Little on the show. Me. Uh -huh. Two like two rappers and two people who allow we get like tattoos were matching. It looks weird, bro. No, but look, but look. No. What, can I say something before you say, get into that? No, no, no you have the floor. Go ahead. So what I was gonna say is, cause when I was a kid and I see and I was watching everything Cash Money did, and all of them ta had each other's names tattooed on them. Man. And this was when I was younger. I didn't understand it, but then when I started going to New Orleans, like you know, on tour and we, shit, we tried the way the way the way they are with each other. They just they love each other a different way than everybody all, else. It's Indian. That's all I got. It's, 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 it's Indian territory. It's tribes. Like people be thinking Indians with the with the Pocahontas looking. That ain't how Indians look. They look like them people in New Orleans. Mm. Indian. Well, excuse me, Louisiana. All over Louisiana. Them Indians, tribes. Indigenous people. And when you take mm -hmm. people that, you can say that, but when you take people in, man, we family. My grandmother had that type of, it don't matter what crime you committed and all that in the streets. When you came in, baby, baby, go on there and wash your hands. You want something to eat? That's how people are. Ain't gonna talk reckless to you. I just went and seen Miss Kind of the other day. She 
put all that shit in your mouth. But she loved me. But, you know, that's just how we are. We rough around the edges, but we love each other. Yeah, I was really nervous to meet you today, I'm not going to lie, but you're not what I expected. Just I'm being not, completely honest. Hey, you like me, though. I'm I was nervous. Charming. You're cool. You're <laughs> No, no, you seem a little temperamental sometimes with interviews. That's why. It ain't that. It's like sometimes they poke at the bell, they poke at the tiger before the interview start. And I'm like... So are you going in with that energy? Like, it's something they've done previously? Or is it stuff that you're asking that you don't like? No oh, disrespect. A dude, <laughs> say, a dude, like, oh, no disrespect, like... I was in an interview one time before, and a dude touched me while he was talking to me. Yeah. Excuse me for touching you. but I'm I was scared of touching you today. I was going to make sure I did not touch you because I didn't know if you were going to be tight. But then it was opposite. That's why I was surprised when I went to shake your hand. I'm an energy, gave a hug instead. I'm an energy person. Like, some people, they, I have the right to not like your energy. Yeah. If, 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 if like, if me and Acad I'll say academic, because mm. he just, I'm going to use him up. He my scapegoat. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, Fair enough. If academic, you know? if me and academic have a big old <laughs> argument in here, mm. and I'm, you, <laughs> oh, we have big argument. When you come in the room, and after we've had an argument, you can feel the tension in the room. You can cut it with a knife. And it's like that with people. You okay. can feel the energy. There's certain people that I don't, there's certain women that don't touch me. So you felt that in those, yeah. those spaces? Don't touch me because it's going to lead to you trying to shoplift. And you know I'm under administration. And when I say shoplift, I'm speaking metaphorically. and they, uh, metaphorically. You know, you might try to shoplift some of the ding a -ling, you heard? Yo, your metaphors <laughs> are crazy. And I'm just, you know, you can, hey, and it's cool to look at the mannequin, but this is not for purchase. <laughs> Oh, One thing I will say about you, and by the way, which, again, maybe through the critique, which you might consider hate, you haven't seen this. I've complimented you since you were dropping hey, mixtape before, before Isla. Stop it. His Stop. compliments you are very backhanded. First, 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 very backhanded. So you got to realize, you got to realize. One thing, the he first thing. you up and tell you down. Stop. Yeah. The first thing I noticed about Kevin when I thought he was starting to buzz, he was dropping some tapes that started making, like, the charts. See, I know me. I'm a numbers guy. Mm. And I'm like. How the fuck is so many people gravitating to I'm a feelings guy. I know you are. I know you are. I go off the vibe and the energy. And, and, I don't and, care and, about your number schmumbers. Well, well I, I care. Because they can be manipulated. But then once I got into the music, I realized you do a great job of how you are. You bottle that up on a track. Because right? you can trick your mind, but you can't trick your heart. The heart wants what it wants. And it wants Kevin Gates. When you came out, mm -hmm. and I know you kind of just earlier, when you came out of jail, I'm right? I'm sick of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of you. <laughs> I swear to God. What else I do? What I, let's get it out on the table. You're what just, else I you're do? You're just a fucking bully. I'm not no bully. Me? Yeah, you a bully. Are you going to continue Kev, to bully him it. after hey, this? Hey, I wish. So you have hey, to answer this is to Kevin the question. Hey, I wish. <laughs> hey, Yo, you a Kevin, bully. You and they got, a, they got another little dude, too. My God, I can't wait to do an interview with him. I'm going to tell him. <laughs> hey, listen, hey, I'm going to be honest, though. Academic, real talk. I never had nothing against you. Hey, but you hurt me. Did I really? Yeah, all that old pussy shit you be saying about me, baby. Like what? Me. Like what? I never said nothing about you negative. I just don't entertain. I said, man, you know what? He's a negative guy. Negativity is a thief. No, that certain things happening. never made sense to me. I went and told Joel Osteen, hey, please pray for him. <laughs> <laughs> I was confused. Like when you said the thing about you said you, you said a couple things. I was like, I think what? Kevin Gates. What did I you say? Said, you said what did I say? What, what? What? I was what? like, stop it. The what? You, you, you was like, yo, uh, like how how much you love your dog, like your actual pet. And I was like, this guy, he so says stuff for internet intention. He so got me. We said we said, said, said that you kissed the dog. That, that's what you when I kissed the dog in the mouth. Uh, yeah, and then you, then you a woman asked me, why are you kissing the dog in the mouth? Ain't no dick never been in my dog mouth. A canine has a bacteria in their mouth, and it kills germs. Yes. Have you seen other people say kiss their dogs? Say what you want to, academics, whatever you want to say, I love my animal. I, I, get, I get being a pet lover, but when you're related to being with a woman, yeah. it what? sounds weird. What did I say being with a woman? You were like, listen, if a woman... A human, if a human bites you, you have to go get a tetanus shot. If a dog bites you... And it's your animal. You don't have to go get a tetanus shot, academics. If he got all the shots, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just letting you know, though. It's a method to the madness. You just don't know. Just say that you don't know. I Ask do me. know. Listen, even, even now, book. listen, I understand you a little bit more now, but I still feel like you're serving the Kool-Aid. Because sitting here and way? listening to you talk. In what way? I almost, Tom, I'm like, yo, damn, this thing serving is really. serving the Kool-Aid. Because when you're in the presence and also when you're kind of listening to the person, whether it's your music 
or you speak for a while. Like, I do believe you get in, in depth in so many different pockets that it's easy for people to be like, yo, this guy's actually spitting some. It's easy for me to be misunderstood. That's what you're saying. Perhaps. Okay, then. That's all. You just misunderstand me. Perhaps. <laughs> I'm telling you. This guy's good. Baluk? <laughs> this guy's good. <laughs> My daughter called me that. She be like, you big balook? <laughs> this guy's good, man. All right, you hey. feel better now? I'm going to be n nice to Kevin Gates. Okay. Hey. I'm not going to lie. I felt you were unapproachable, hey. and I saw how, like, I am. you... Today, you were though? very approachable, though. No. I'm energy. A, I'm approachable because y'all had good energy. I'm a friend. I'm a great friend. And I want to say this is your public, but I'm not friendly. Mm. I'm a great friend. I don't do small talk. Like that dude out there, that, that tall white boy, Justin, I met him in the bathroom. Greeted me like a man. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even know he knew who I was. But I was in the bathroom just brushing my teeth singing. And I was like, um. That's what you were doing in there for so long? Nah, I had to, um, <laughs> you want me to be honest? Can, I'm an average truth teller. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought I had the shit. <laughs> and then you brush your teeth. False alarm. Okay. False alarm. <laughs> <All right. laughs> okay. Yeah, and then me, you know, I got to go. I'm just so clean. I got to go get the paper towels okay. and get the soap and go wipe this toilet down. Then lace it up. Uh, so you had a I'm just got you. different. You know, I'm just a clean person. Mm -hmm. I try to practice hygienics. But um, I was in there singing a song. I was like, um, a lot of depression selling in and you was too confused. Your art was frozen, but a chosen one commanded it to move. You feel my spirit in the room. I know you feel my spirit in the room, you do, you do. And I, I just noticed he was paying attention to it. And I was like, damn. I ain't even know he knew who I was. And he and fuck with me. Just his energy was, his so, energy was cool. Yo, how about, since you seem to be so misunderstood, but you're actually pretty chill, right? Can you stay away from situations where you feel like there's bad energy so people don't keep getting that perception of you? Well, I've put safeguards in place, so. You know, safeguards. Okay. Safeguards in place so no negative things should take place um, in the future. Mm. But I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, behind my my wife and behind my children and behind the people that I love, I'm gonna go all out. Mm. And the worst thing I don't know about anyone else, but the worst thing a man could be is a coward to his own self. And I'm just big on respect. Mm. That's why I give so much respect, and I don't place myself in environments where. It could be challenged. That's good. I think that's that's yeah. a good safeguard. I don't place myself Protect that in those type of environments at all. Watching, um, I just, know, I know where it's going. Watching start how you you deal with people. Start the fucking stupid in two point two seconds. Ooh. Bobby Boucher. W watching how you deal with people and everything. Like, I mean, again, listen, I'm I'm ignorant and I'll admit it, but that's why I'm here for You're a lot. You're ignorant. You're very witty. No, no, I'm witty. You, no, I'm witty. Not, but when I say relatable. ignorant, some things. I don't know, and I might have an ignorant opinion because of it. I'm ignorant too. Man. Like for example, like like you and security guard before y'all started, y'all kissed each other on the cheek. Again, a very ignorant opinion is well, like that's weird. That's not my security guard. Or, or, or I'm sorry. I don't have security. He's my assistant, and okay. he's Muslim, and we went cheek to cheek, and the kiss goes to God. The kiss isn't. You don't put your lips on the cheeks of another Muslim, and maybe you never seen anything like that before. I haven't. Hey. He'll die for me, and I'll die for him. That's just the camaraderie that we have, the love that we have for one another. So it's no nothing negative. I appreciate his aid and assistance, because before coming, I was nervous. I was like, I don't know if I want to go up there and fuck with that. He was like, you're going to do great. It was because of him? So, no, not at that. I had, was working out, mm -hmm. and I was working out, and I was like, if I don't have enough time to meditate, mm -hmm. because this how I was uh, it's sitting in the thing. I was sitting like this in the, uh, in the other room, and I take like a few minutes. I sit like this, and I just close my eyes. What does that do for you? Meditating calms you down, clears your head. And I had to calm my heart rate because I do a lot of push-ups, and I just I, I work out a lot. And a lot of time, if your heart beating too fast, mm -hmm. you could jump the gun, mm -hmm. and you'll give off nervous energy. Mm -hmm. And you never, you know, when you're a tiger, you never want to spook the antelopes. <laughs> yeah, that's such a great uh, note to end on. I see the people are coming, which means yeah. they want you to get out of here soon. But yo, uh, before we go, Ooh, congratulations them on, on people, them people, them people. your team, <laughs> all the people. I think they're here because it's time for you to go. Question. Of course you do. What's of the course question? he has <laughs> no, I got just... one. Hey, I got one more answer. <laughs> right. Okay. No, no, I, well, well, you know, watching you on Instagram, I remember when like you you went overseas to go. It was like it, it felt like a trip to. 
I want to call it the mecca. I don't know if that's yeah, the mecca. correct word. Mecca. But okay, all right. But yeah, like, what did that do for you? Because I don't. That's where I marked the change in you. Know what it did? I marked the change in you, you know from what it then. Did? What did it do? It did what you see right now. Mm. This is what it did. That's good. I cast a map of your life, and you put an X on that day. I, I believe years prior, I wouldn't have been able to sit here with you people. I think so too. But now. I could sit here with you people because I'm an average truth teller, and I take, I take strong, 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 strong note on self accountability. That's the only way you can ever be happy. Mm. Yeah, y'all see me on Instagram. I'm very transparent. I don't have the jewelry and the other things. All I can, me is all I have to offer. Y'all saw me fat as a motherfucker. I was 310 pounds. I was miserable. I thought negative That's thoughts. That's another question. I, I ate that. fucked up foods. I thought fucked up. I was just a play? miserable person to be around. Mm-hmm. Y'all saw me get on Instagram and say, God, please take an invisible knife and cut this fat off me today. God didn't do that. But every day that I woke up with breath in my body was the opportunity to change my life. Because it starts inside. It doesn't start outside. And everybody that ever saw Kevin Gates, you know one thing about me. I'm not afraid to make mistakes. I'm not afraid. I do not apologize. Hey, if you're offended by me being myself, oh, but how, however could you find it in your heart to forgive me? Because I most certainly could give a fuck less. Because every mistake that I have made, I have learned from it. And I'll make a bunch of new mistakes tomorrow. I don't care about that. You heard me? But I got to hold myself accountable. And now, like I say, I replace negative habits. I don't go drink cups of syrup. I don't trick myself. I don't numb myself. I don't take pacifiers. I take accountability and I deal with it. I work out. I run. I eat healthy. I had a celery juice this morning because I just noticed the way that it makes my body feel. When I eat too much food, I feel sluggish. Yeah. I don't like to feel sluggish. When I see people that come around with muscles, like Wayne old like people that they didn't shape when I was fat with breasts, I don't have titties anymore. <laughs> when I used to see him, <laughs> I'm trap all sexy, yeah, I'm trap all sexy. <laughs> Kevin, you're not. You're tricking yourself. You are trying to trick them folks. You swag in the camera. No, you're not trap all sexy. Now, I'm trying to, hey, um, I'm a win this year. Absolutely. I want to be the world's most sexiest gangster. Kevin's my new, my new, uh, <laughs> yo, you're my new trainer. I ain't gonna lie. That's motivational. Yeah. Motivational. Yo, man, congrats on all the changes. We know and I are in this healthy lifestyle shit, too, and it's great. A I lot more tell. energy. It's you know super dope. Tell? Energy. Because your body reflects it. Energy. When you are living a healthy lifestyle, your body takes effective form. Sure. More That's why my body uses. has taken effective form. I live healthy. Yo, congrats on this album. Don't be nervous. She want me to I'm leave. excited to hear. No, they want you to leave. I'm getting intimidated now. People are telling me you got to go. Um, but I'm excited to hear the project. I'm a real nigga. We know I had good things I to want. say. <laughs> I, I, are you? I, it's I good. Music. I, I would say music. that the music that I heard yesterday is very good. Okay. And I'm not sparing. I'm not sparing your feelings. He's a very I'm honest guy. Our bulls. Yeah. Very honest guy. I can't wait to hear it. That's our bulls. Man. And, I feel like you teach me something every time I listen to it. Mm. I'm not from a world that you're from. I'm from a different world. Hey. <laughs> not seriously. <laughs> no, 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 in, 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 in the sense of like a lot of shit he said here that y'all would have said, nah, nah, you don't gotta explain that's it. Beautiful. It's too graphic. Mm. That's beautiful. He's actually like he's getting put me on game. I would never know known it. But that's so beautiful. I respect it and I learn. That's beautiful because to thine own self be true. And you, that's self accountability. I'm proud of you. Give me a hug. Oh, you guys. You should end on a hug. We gotta go. Give him a hug. I taught you something, my little son. You know you my little son, boy.